Back here at the D3Hoops.com Classic at the South Point Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Pat Coleman of D3 Hoops, and I'm joined by Kendall Kearns of Concordia, Wisconsin. Uh, her team uh, falling in the first game of the uh, event today to Eureka by the score of 63-52. But uh, it was a. Uh, I, I wanted to talk about first of all the the difference between the open end of the gym and the closed end of the gym. You know, where the, uh, you know the, the, the 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 shooting backgrounds are so much different. Uh, where you guys were in the first half compared to the second half. How much does that play into, you know, you guys as a team and that sort of thing? Um, our shooting, I mean, we know that's a, an important part of the game is having those shots go in. Yeah. Um, our strong shooter is Tiffany Hendricks in number 22. Um, but there's two sides of basketball. If, if our shots aren't falling, then, you know, we pride ourselves on defense and so that's where we try to pick up the slack is on defense. Um, and then we know our shots will fall. Yeah. You, know? you guys have had a pretty strong season so far. I mean, you came in at 7-3. and three. What's, uh, what's been the highlight of the season so far at this point for the Falcons? Um, highlight of the season? Yeah. I think just like, I mean, obviously it wasn't shown tonight, but just progressing as a team and... Um, Getting better after hard losses, this being one of them. Um, tomorrow we face number one team right. in the country, so I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how we come back from that. And I know we can play a lot better, and I think that's you know the good side to the team is uh, we we all want to win. It's just sometimes it's it's harder. And yeah. It's not because we're not working hard. It's because things aren't going right and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot. What else are you guys doing in Las Vegas this week while you're down there? Um, our focus is basketball right okay. now yeah. and then we'll figure that stuff out later. Because yeah, you guys, I mean obviously you mentioned Amherst, they come in on a uh I don't know, they've won 40 of their last 41 games. I don't even know how quite how many in a row it is, but uh, I guess one of the one of the benefits is uh, obviously it's a big challenge, but you get to measure yourself against the best Division three women's basketball team in the country. Okay. What have you seen of them so far? Did you look at them on tape at all this week? Um, we have not seen them on tape, uh, but we have really good scouting reports. Coach always scouts them really hard, and um, we know their personnel well. So, what, what's basketball like in the Northern Athletics Conference? Um, right now, it's matched pretty evenly. Um, and you guys have a big, you got a big conference. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty tough right now. Um, but like I said, we. We prepare for every team um, really hard. We watch film. We practice hard, um, focusing on them and us. Yeah. During the uh, kind of midway through the second half uh, of this game, on the first game of the tournament, got a little chippy. Teams, uh, things got really heated. But you stepped in and, and tried to to calm one of your teammates down. Is that? Uh, what was that like having to, you know, I guess, A, be the senior and, and, and step in and kind of help a fellow upperclassman calm down a bit? Um, I, I know her. She's yeah. my best friend yeah. on and off the court. Um, I know what she was doing, and I, yeah. and that's fine. It was, in my opinion, a bad call. Her opinion, obviously, a bad call. Right. Um, yeah. But at that point, I just feel like, you know, at that point in the game, refs are, you know, getting this enough from both sides and feel like, you know, maybe they're apt to give a technical and I didn't want her being a point guard in our strong leader to get in trouble that way. Um, so that's when I stepped in and I, I know she's fine, she's smart. Um, Let's beat the starting I just, the I just didn't want anything to happen with it. It was more of like a recap. Um, but number three. What did you think of uh, Katie Eaton, number 22 for Eureka? They had a, I mean, she had a game this season where she scored over 40 points. What did you think of uh, her seeing her in person? What would I think of her what? What did you think of her after seeing her in person? I know it's loud. Um, obviously, she's, I mean, she's good. She's smart. She is aggressive. That's why she's the number one leader in the country. You guys had... You had some success. I thought that uh, I thought uh, that uh, Camille Carson did a good job on her in the first half, especially uh, defensively. Yeah, and that's like I said, we pride ourselves on that. And she was their go-to person, so I thought that on defense. 
Kendall Kearns, a senior for Concordia, Wisconsin, here at the D3Hoops.com Classic, and we'll be talking with uh, more players and coaches as the week progresses. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back.